this Monday, Thursday, I offer this brief time of prayer and devotion to help you reflect upon the important events that took place in the upper room with Jesus and his disciples on that night long ago in which he was betrayed. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. My sisters and brothers, Christ shows us his love by becoming a humble servant. Let us draw near to God and confess our sin in the truth of God's spirit. Join with me with this prayer of confession as it appears on the screen. You're invited to read the words in the bold print. Most merciful God, we, your church, confess that often our spirit has not been that of Christ. Where we have failed to love one another as he loves us, where we have pledged loyalty to him with our lips and then betrayed, deserted, or denied him, forgive us, we pray. And by your spirit, make us faithful in every time of trial. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Who is in a position to condemn? Only Christ. But Christ suffered and died for us, was raised from the dead and ascended on high for us, and continues to intercede for us. Believe the good news. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. I want to uh, share scripture reading for you this day from John chapter 13, verses 1 through 17, and then continuing with verses 31 through 34. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world and to go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them fully. Jesus and his disciples were sharing the evening meal. The devil had already provoked Judas, Simon Iscariot's son, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew the Father had given everything into his hands and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the table and took off his robe. Picking up a linen towel, he tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a wash basin and began to wash the disciples' feet drying them with his towel he was wearing. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't understand what I'm doing now, but you will understand later. No, Peter said, you will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, unless I wash you, you won't have a place with me. Simon Peter said, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus responded, those who have bathed need only to have their feet washed because they are completely clean. You disciples are clean, but not every one of you. He knew who would betray him. That's why he said, not every one of you is clean. After he washed the disciples' feet, he put on his robe and returned to the place at the table. He said to them, do you know what I've done for you? You call, me father, you call me teacher and Lord, and you speak correctly because I am. If I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you too must wash each other's feet. I have given you an example, just as I have done. You also must do. I assure you, servants aren't greater than their master, nor are those who are greater than the one who sent them. Since you know these things, you will be happy if you do them. And now, beginning with verse 31. When Judas had gone, Jesus said, Now the human one has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify the human one in himself and will glorify him immediately. Little children, I am with you for a little longer. You will look for me, but just as I had told the Jewish leaders, I also um, tell you now, where I am going, you can't come. I give you a new commandment, love each other just as I have loved you. So you must also love each other. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. And may you reflect upon these and the 
other events of Monday Thursday this evening as we draw near to Good Friday, which is tomorrow, and grow ever hopeful for our celebration of the resurrection on Easter. And may this special music provided by our musicians, uh, Louise Gast, soloist, and Kit McCluskey, Thompson accompanist, um, help you draw near to God on this holy Monday, Thursday. Go in peace. May Jesus Christ, who for our sake became obedient unto death, even death on a cross, keep you and strengthen you this night and forever. Amen.